All right, this, this weekend, it's all fucked up. All right, I'm just joking. Um, so, oh, look. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Mm, all right. Sorry, guys. We stopped at, what, 4 or something in the morning or some shit like that, right? Started at 2 a.m., so now we'll start at 2 p.m. There we go. Part two of, uh, what do we title that? Mongol shit, right? Mongolian. Mongoloid. Okay, so we covered the Sin Donti and the Sun. The Sunda. Sunda, Sunda Dante, and we found Sunderland, and we see that uh, there's uh, Sundra and the Shawl, and it would be the names of the place, right? And you see, look in there, Sumatra and Borneo, right? And Mindan Mindanao, you know, so. There's, there's some stuff in there, you know, so when we say Shaw Aboriginal, right, and they start giving us just Australia and fucking migration patterns, right, they won't, they won't give me a fucking picture of, oh, yeah, they do. So now, when we go again and say, who are the Aboriginals that they call these sundry, right, sundry, right, sundry, sunda, however it's pronounced, I don't, I don't, I don't communicate with them, I just read the shit on page, right? So, this is what they look like, okay? As you can see, they are classified as black. They're aboriginal. They got the same skin tones that you and I have, right? Sun hits us and we become dark, right? Winter comes and some of us turn a little, a little less dark. A little on the yellow side there, buddy. You feeling okay? I'm okay. So, again, you can see the game that Google is playing, right? Now, again, when you, when, when you get into this, you know, you know, these are the images that are provided, but when you type in Shaw Aboriginal, like I showed you yesterday, what is the actual robot trying to can tell you? Okay, so when you scroll down through this, you see, see it, it's not like yesterday. We typed in the five-pointed star shit and uh, starts giving you all these different... Pinnacle, motherfucker. You're looking for the word pinnacle, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> this is the most that they're giving on that name. And if you go into it, you know, they have their DNA. Of course, you know, they stole their land. They'll do anything. You know, dig up those people's ancestors, remove those fucking graves, put them inside warehouses, and put their own people in the fucking ground, right? And then they say, oh, we're just studying the way the people lived anciently. Right? Like, don't touch my fucking ancestors. What's wrong with you? The same thing they do to, to us here. Right? That's why you know they haven't found Moses because the Bible, the scripture tells us the real word of God, not that New Testament bullcrap. The real word of God tells us that they have not found his body to this day. Right? He, he, he awaits. All right? Now, when you type in Sunda people, Right? They start giving you these pictures of fucking sin, Sinodra people. Now, uh, excuse me, Sundani. Sinodonti. Now, you already saw what the Sundra people look like. The people, that, that's why I did Shaw Aboriginal. Again, it's the Crocodile Dundee people. The people highlighted in that, in that book, I mean in the movies. Again, when you ask, oh, show me some images of sundry people, right? This is what, these are the, look at these people. These are Sino, Chinese. These are, these are mixed Chinese, semi. Now, these are the Chinese that mix with the aboriginal. Other of the Sino mixed with other groups and produced other types but we're focusing on the mongolian type this is the importance of all these images and you know I'm, uh, 
These don't look like technological people. So the idea that they live on top of the aboriginal, uh, uh, it, 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 this has to do with war. You know, if 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 the Sino people are are dealing with, uh, remember, we get we get what fireworks, gunpowder from 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 Chinese uh, sciences. You know, it's just like it's just like the uh, our Indians versus the the, the cannonball. And the Gatling gun, right? Now remember, when you see those videos, when that dude show you those videos of the Moors and the Italians going and shooting down the Ethiopians, the white man don't let those black soldiers use the Gatling gun. That's his special tool. There's got to be a white man behind there. Right? No, no, they get those, they, the, the, the Moors always were on scene with the single shot muskets, right? So you look at those pictures of George Washington, right? You look at those pictures of Columbus, even further back. They say he had a Moor navigate for him. If the fucking, if the Moors are supposed to be over here in America, how the fuck is he crossing the seas with Columbus? You fucking, you descendants of slaves are so goddamn stupid to keep calling yourselves fucking Moors and keep arguing about it. The fucking Bey, the El, the Ali lived over you as oppressors. You cannot be the fucking slave and the fucking oppressor. And you tell me the United, uh, the, 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 the English turned on the fucking Moors? Who give a fuck? The Moors fucking, uh, if we establish white supremacy, uh, or the idea of racism, period, racism, period, to be, I don't like you because of your color. I don't think, I don't care about the contributions you've done to anything. Right? What have the Moors fucking done for anybody? They, they've done wonderful things for fucking Freemasons. They opened up navigation for the European to breach the wall, the barrier that God put between us, the people of the covenant, the commonwealth of Israel, and them. And, and you don't respect that. You, you guys have been reading fucking books by fucking Freemasons, and you don't even fucking understand it. And, 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 and I can't help your fucking ignorance. I don't give a fuck if you're a dum-dum. Stay the fuck away from me. Nobody wants a dum-dum around. Shit, man. Read a fucking book. So when we deal with the Sino Mongol, is they're, they're straight out tell you, you, you say Sino and they'll be like China Mongol or a Chinese Mongol, Mongolian. Right? Mongol invasion of China is, is what they call it. And the date is from 1200, right? This is the Golden Horde, right? Going into China. Now, they always tell you China created the Great Wall to keep out the barbarians, right? And what they say the barbarians look like? White people. What was Genghis Khan's horde called? The Golden Horde. Is it because they took gold? Is it because they wore gold? Is it because they had golden hair? What type of people on the face of the earth have golden hair? People that have SLC 245. So, when you start understanding what's going on, you'll eventually come to terms with Something in the white gene has, has encouraged their species to conquer the world. If they start off as barbarians. Now, again, I, I stated this yesterday. You, eventually, you're going to understand that the, what you call... Now, they say do not mix the term white and caucasoid um, because there are black people that fall under the term caucasoid. Okay, now when you look at the Ethiopian, they are caucasoid. When you look at some types of white men, they are in the classification of Caucasoid. That means that the Ethiopian, right, or the people that are in Ethiopia now are calling themselves Ethiopia, and the Caucasoid are from the same forefather. That means that that's separate from what you call black people, like the people that went enslaved, okay? 
So you got to understand. So when you think about it, it breaks down to some white people have SLC24A5 in their blood, fish DNA. Now, the percentage right now is unclear because you have to calculate a lot of things, mainly the phenotypes, because pheno phenotypes divide people. Look how many black people have this in their, in their, in their goatee. The, 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 the chin turns white immediately. Before, before, all, before the whole beard goes white, the chin goes white. I, I, I see people all the time, everywhere, all over the country. And I know that we go back to something because of the phenotype. Look at people that can't grow a beard. They go back to a phenotype. So you've got to understand what your features may, uh, 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 really mean. Your uniqueness. Now, on top of that, you have a percentage of that group that have Neanderthal in their blood. Now, again, when one group that has SLC24A5 uh, start commingling with the Neanderthal group, now I'll state this, even though Germans have blonde hair, blue eyes, they already state that, that they have a high percentage of Neanderthal blood because the bones of the Neanderthals fall in what? Neander Valley, which is what? In, in, in their country or the country that they seized. So then you have this group, percentages of, it, of that group commingling with the Neanderthal blood. Now remember this. Now, even though you have this in some people's blood and this in some people's blood, you have a group that, in between that, that they made a subdivision of those two groups. So, let's pretend you have Neanderthal blood. It gives you a trait of red hair. Now, you have SLC24A5. It, see, see, this is all Mongolian shit too, right? We're we, we just not understanding. When I, when I show you the fucking Tartars, they're all fucking white. If the Tartars were part of the Mongol Empire, the Golden Horde, they're not calling the people with dark skin that are Mongoloids. Mongoloids, they're not calling them fucking golden people. What the fuck about them look golden? So then you have the Canaanite groups, the ones that are from Cham that experience leprosy. Now, most of them come from dark-skinned people, and when I show you these dark-skinned people on screen, the people of show, you see they got, I don't know if that's paint or dye, but they got dark hair. And look how it's stringy on top, but curly on the bottom. Ain't that fucking weird? But it's very unique, isn't it? Now, if we see some more of these people with beards here, let's just, just hit show more, right? Now, there you got one where the top matches the bottom, right? So, these Aboriginal people make up a part of, you know, a percentage of what you call Mongol. All right. Now, when you deal with leprosy and, and dark haired people that are white, and this is just saying, I mean, we ain't doing blood tests and shit. That would solve everything, wouldn't it? You know, science already knows which, who's what and why. They just, they just release it slowly, slowly but surely, because when you get to the bottom of it, you find out they're not real men, you know. And I'm going to say something too. A lot of people think that what they call um, the homosexual agenda is, is, is one thing. Um, but it, it's really a COINTEL program. And what it has to do with, it has to do with passing laws. Now you have humans that are saying, I don't have a gender. Right, you can you you can now sign up to, to 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 change your birth certificate. Oh, even though I was born a man or born a, a woman, right? Um, I'm now no gender. 
These are about passing laws so they can release these fucking creatures they've been growing in labs along with, you know, mm, uh, thing shells that they've grown for spiritual things to come in and operate. It's so that when these things are fucking released on the streets, and you know they do not belong on Earth, they are unnatural, so that you can't attack them. That's why you got idiots like Nanyel saying, white power, all right? White supremacy is so they can try to what pass on their hierarchy to what? Their forefather. Because their forefather has become unnatural. So to speak that he thinks he can rejuvenate himself. Listen, just like the white man thinks that he can take his own consciousness, defy death, and put himself into a fucking robot. The white man thinks he can fucking take the DNA of all these different ancestors and pull them into one and create Suprantor, the great fucking leader. This is what they're trying to tell you in G.I. Joe from fucking from the fucking 80s. Think about it. how many of you grew up watching G.I. Joe? How many of you saw the fucking... You now, you can always turn it on YouTube and, and watch it. The Rise of Suprantor. It's a fucking G.I. Joe fucking movie series, right? Where they show you all this different stuff where they're trying to change... Uh, uh, Cobra, the organization, is trying to change the DNA of all humans on Earth to fucking change them into a fucking snake people. Right? And most of you don't understand G.I. Joe. The United States Corporation had, had changed the military aspect. G.I. Joe were fucking renegades. Trained in the military, but the military don't exist no more. And they have free range to fucking travel the country to try to fight fucking the, the conglomerate organization, organized military corporation called Cobra. You don't even understand what they were fucking trying to show you as a child. Now people are going to fucking tell me, well, I understand what, what happened in history with the Moors. Oh, bullshit, dude. You're, reason, you're reading Freemason books. If you're living over here peaceful, if you're controlling your land, and still having wars, you got fucking times of peace, and you got times of war with other Indians, and all of a sudden, a new group of motherfuckers Come, come, come over to steal your fucking land with technology and fucking disease. And you're telling me you read a book that fucking Moors belong here. I, I don't even have, I don't even know how to deal with that fucking ignorance besides with violence. See, that's the problem with my mind. I'm not humble. Uh, I'd like to say I'm not humble enough. I, I'm, I'm just not humble, period. Now, I'd like to be. I sit and brow, browbeat myself, man, be humble, be humble. Two minutes later, I'm like, fucking mad about something. Oppression will drive a wise man insane. Understand what that scripture really fucking means. All right? No, 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 no. Now, stop bullshitting yourself. You need to turn this fucking video off, dum-dums. They call it something more. And, and fucking seek the real history that's been hidden from you. You you think these black writers that that that, that pan fucking Africanism, uh 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 uh, uh Egypto fucking drunk motherfuckers, they're calling the fucking the culture of Moab fucking Egyptian, and you guys don't even fucking get it. Egypt is a Canaanite fucking bloodline until they're overthrown. Now, if Egyptians are what North North African in, in their Caucasoids, they're dark skin. They're 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 they're, they're in between. They're mid dark skin fucking uh, Caucasoids. Then, 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 how could Jesus go to Egypt and fucking hide if black people 
weren't in Egypt. But if 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 the type of black people that match Shem's heritage is in Egypt, it's not a fucking Hamite. If they say Ethiopians are Caucasoids, that means they're fucking Jafedi, not Hamitic. That that's that's Babylonian teachings that they fucked your mind up with. This is the point of going back and reading the Bible, what they were anciently called. See, that's what people do not respect about the Bible. It is an ancient record that you can find. All these fucking bloodlines can go uh, go go back to an original names, and you just don't fucking have the patience to read a book or read an encyclopedia, and 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 to read it till they give up what the original name was. Eventually, they will tell you it's 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 hidden from you, but it's put in just different talk different speech pattern. If you fucking worry about slang all the fucking time and you don't worry about words in a fucking real dictionary, you ain't gonna fucking ever understand understand shit except for the nigga on the street. So don't come here with the nigga on the street attitude acting like more uh, is, is especially important uh, because they, they own every, man, fucking Catholics own every fucking piece of land. How the fuck, uh, except for North Africa, how you gonna fucking sit there and say North Africa own fucking anything when fucking they, they working for the fucking Catholics. When we read dumb diverses, we give you full and free permission to invade, seek out, and fucking steal every goddamn thing. You don't see no fucking uh, king of Algeria, or fucking king of Morocco. You don't see none of that shit on that. That's a Catholic document. If that sits there and says they're warring with the Saracen, who's supposed to be the fucking the, the black Arab the, the, and, the, and the Moor, why are Moors on boats? with the fucking Catholics coming over here to steal your fucking land. Dum Dum. Dum Dum is a bomb. It's a U.S. bomb. It's, it's, it's released to destroy shit. These Dum Dums come here and set off fucking stupidity fucking bombs. Fucking saying saying stupid shit, uh, just because the Moors have a star in the fucking center of the flag, uh, and it, and it's and it's and it's uh, fucking like a pinnacle, uh, doesn't mean that fucking oh man, dum dums, fucking drunk with stupidity, stupid bomb going off. Three, two, one. All right, again. You can sit there and say, who are the Tartistan people, right? Or you say the Tartistan Muslim people as well. Or you can hit the special code that, that sorry, it's a Chief Nanya L moment. I, 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 me, I, 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 right? You watch that motherfucker say, I all fucking, said like 30 fucking eyes in fucking two minutes. I made that, I, I'm the master, I, I, fucking. Show enough, bitch, shut up. <laughs> I'm fucking drunk with fucking reading fucking fake ass laws. Half beast laws come down, uh, 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 come down from the creator. They fucking, fucking, the beast man cut out fucking a large percentage of what the creation's laws are. And you're like, oh, beast man, sa beast man says, white man, greatest. White power, you dumb fucking <laughs> dumb dumbs. So <laughs> you deal with code, you just type in Afro before any country when you're looking at the people and you'll find the fucking Aboriginal slaves. All right. Here, again, this is what they only showing you a few. You know, you'll have to look for them. All right. That Vladimir, Vladimir Putin saves the world. All right. Fucking pull out your swords and slay everyone. Says, okay, so. I would assume these are black people in Russia, right? Now, when you look at these black people that live in Russia, don't they dress just like the the, uh, the, the ancient pictures of Russians? But they, but, but, but in the ancient pictures of Russians, they put white faces. But see, these ain't these 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 Aboriginals still keep their ancient traditions, or the, or the ancient dress styles. Now we don't. Now I see the white people dressed up in fucking uh in in, in, in Aboriginal fucking clothes. 
See, why as ears, as ears, right? <laughs> you know, that shit look like Azazel, Azazel children in Turks don't look like, right? Random pictures of Turkish people, right? So you got two subgroups equally pushing white supremacy. So one's not over the other. See, this is what Nanya L thinks is going to happen. If you sit there and say white power and say I'm white too, status-wise, baby, now now the white man has to fucking listen to you. I mean, he don't really understand what you're saying, man. If, 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 if the white man gives you a fucking a stupid card, right, and he says, check what you're associated with or you feel associated shit, right? Now, is, 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 um, what, what does it call when black people act white, that, that, that uh, uh, you converted, right, or, or, or it's, it's a C word, right, I can't remember what it is, right, but ain't that the fucking same thing, that when you sit there and check white, and you, and, you, and, you, and, and they've already associated with you a black, when the cops pull you over, and you fucking, and you say, my status is white, they don't give a fuck, when they sit there and fill out the information, they still gonna fucking write down, it was a black person, you think because you fill out a piece of paper and fucking say, my status has changed, that it has. But the paperwork you're dealing with is not official paperwork either. If, 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 if they make you a slave and they got a fucking a bill of sale and a fucking stamp on it, right, saying this is the government, then to free yourself, don't you need some, some stampy shit too? Some official paperwork? Not just some fucking SF-181 printout. You're a fucking moron, dude. You're drinking, drinking fucking Jesus juice, right? And, and and listen to how the motherfucker says all this shit against the Bible, yet he brings up all these principles of the Bible that that, that, that he has to adhere to because of white man's law. You're going two ways on a fucking one-way street. You're going to have a fucking accident. God. <sighs> So here's the Tartar people again. I'm just highlighting this shit again. I, uh, tar the Tartar people of Russia, right? And so you you fucking type in whatever you want. Crimea, uh, uh, Crimean Tartar people, all right? So obviously the Tartars are fucking white, right? Or or a, a, a white and Arab mix. Now you always got to ask yourself: Do they fall under? Caucasoid. And again, I'm just doing what everybody else does. I'm using the fucking white man standards since these are the fuckers that control the books. Now, what do we have here? We have an Italian, right? And we have an Afghan. Now, look at this shit again. There's a Crimean, right? Now, they're very, they're different to a degree, but yet, in their own respect, they're kind of the same. Don't this look like average white guy here in America? But these are Crimean people, fucking Tartars. One, one group, fucking Europeans eat fucking mayo with everything. The other group fucking tartar sauce with fucking most shit bullshit, right? Horseradish shit. Come on, man. You, you fucking tell who they are by their fucking by, by their fucking diets. So we left off over here, all right? Um, and what we were looking for is we were looking for a mongoloid uh, uh, thing that that, that uh, is this is this for mongoloids, Mongolian spot. Right? And okay, now here's what we want. We want uh, prevalence, right? Now listen, approximately 90% uh, of Polynesian and Micronesians are born with Mongolian spots, as about 46% of children in Latin America as are associated with non European descendant, uh, descent uh, spots of 5%. So, what I saw, I'm going to tell you what I saw because. That's what I made um, my shit off of. I had an article up on my phone. Now, it seems when you leave articles up on your phone for a while, fucking all of a sudden advertisements come in and knock off your fucking, uh, your, uh, your article. So it's no longer on my phone. But what they said was Native Americans 
right? The Mongolians that are here call themselves the fucking Asians mixed with Mongol blood, or they fucking call themselves Native Americans. They they have ninety percent of their fucking people have what's called Mongolian spot, right? Now, this article that I read said Africans, African Americans, uh, have ninety percent have a birthmark called a Mongolian spot. I have my article that I read said Asians, 80% of them have the Mongolian spot. Now, if they sit there and say, Mongolians are Asians, are they saying a small percentage of, of Asians are fucking uh, Mo Mongols? Because again, you have a situation where children are having a birthmark come up and it's called or classified a Mongolian spot. Now, if I'm a fucking Mongolian, is the spot on me? That's a yes or no question. Just think about it. Now, I'm going to put it to you like this. Mongolians have a distinct phenotype. And I'll put it to you like this. If you have the phenotype of a Mongolian spot, it would most likely mean that you uh, that the Mongolian horde fucked through your bloodline. Now, now we all see this says European has ten percent. Now, here, let me put this like that. Now, that's the percentage of having Mongolian spots. Now, on the other hand, this is the percentage that's left over, meaning Native Americans have 10%, 10 percent uh, of Native Americans do not have the Mongolian spot. 10 percent of African Americans do not have the Mongolian spot. 20 percent of Asians, okay, see how this works? If 80 percent have the spot, then that's 20 percent left, do not have the Mongolian spot. And look at this, it's 90 percent of Europeans do not have the Mongolian spot. Now, this is based on an article that I cannot show anymore because it's just, it's out of my power. I can't remember which one I clicked on. But uh, as you can see, they still talk about the percentages uh, in, in different groups. It then occurs in Asian and Native American infants, right? 95 of eight. See, it still says that stuff here on this article as well. So it's not like I'm lying to you, and, it, and, and it's just to say that not everybody has the same percentage of uh, stats. But roughly, they're in the same places. If, As you can see, this says 95% of Asians, even though I read an article that said 80% of Asians. Here it says 80 to 85% of Native Americans, but the article I, I, I read just said 80. So... There are some uh, fluctuations in the numbers by, from different articles. So I'll just put it to you like this. One of two things happen. One, either these percentages that are left over, left over, unaffected, ran or got away from the Mongol horde as it was coming, or, on the other hand, or they were part of the Mongolian army. Now, that means to say either 10% of the Native Americans were not in the Mongol army and ran from it, or they were in the Mongol army. 10% of African Americans, now think of, of they, they classify, they, they're lumping us all together, even if they took fucking uh, uh, African DNA. They're still going to say 10% have it and 10% don't. They're just lumping us. They're just being racist and lumping us all together. Right? Just when they say European, they're being racist and lumping every, everybody there together. Right? Now, Turks are not the same blood as the European, but uh, the, the, the Turks are being lumped together with them. Right? When they classify as, as fucking Asian, they're not lumping Turks in with Asians. Not even uh, so, 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 so get what I'm saying, you know. When they, when, they, when they classify fucking people of fucking Russia, do they fucking call them Asians or do they call them fucking Europeans? Well, since they live in Asia, they classify them as Asians. 
since since some of the different groups have fucked into Asia, they call them Asians. Now the Turks that travel outside of Turkey and go into other countries and fuck into those places, they call those the places of the land. Like you have Guk Turk. Now I'll bring it up on screen so you don't think I'm being fucking racist, right? Now the white man calls the Chinese man a Guk, and it's fucking it's supposed to be evil, right? Guk Turk. You see, it's one word here: Guk Turkey and Guk Turk. All right. Celestial Turks, Blue Turks, or Cook or Cook Turks were a nomadic confederate. Nomadic. They traveled to other fucking people's land and fucked into their blood. So you get what I'm saying? Just like the European did, just like a lot of people groups did. This is how you take over the fucking land. So we're going <clears> to <throat> move on here. And remember, this is all about, looking at this is to say... The Mongolian spot will show you if they've infected your bloodline. Now remember, Genghis Khan fucked through the world. He sent his armies in the other lands to conquer, destroy the men, impregnate the women, take, take everything. This is the spread of the Golden Horde. Or the spread of SLC 24A5. Now, again, when you say the horde is golden, remember what's going on. And I state this for, for this reason. If your gang is calm and you've got this golden horde that's doing everything that you want. There's no reason for you to say, I'm going to fuck into my own army. When you go into all these different cities and you're just taking what you want, the, the gold and the booty. Think about that shit. You're not going to punish your own men for being successful and start banging them. And this is why I believe when you say 10% of these people don't have it, these are your fucking betrayers. These are the people that worked with the Golden Horde to fucking overthrow. That's, there's no difference than your fucking, uh, uh, what do you, what do you call, uh, your boule. These are black people that because they've helped, uh, push white supremacy, uh, they're, 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 they're wealthy now. While, while you are getting walked on, tread on, they are the, they are the, they are the house slaves. You are the field slave. Field slaves can't afford fucking dentistry. Dentistry is expensive. Uh, now, uh, my wife actually found this article. If you're reading this, you, uh, either your baby is pro probably, you or your baby have a birthmark. Maybe both uh, would be surprised if the birthmarks are relatively common and occur in four or five babies. Birthmarks are defined as blemishes or areas of discolored skin that are noticeable at birth or soon after. They have come in a variety of shapes and sizes that compare everywhere, almost anywhere on the body, although experts do not really understand what causes birthmarks. Medical communities, the medical community has categorized them and explain, explained their appearance. Some cultures have legends and folklore that lend spiritual meaning. You understand what was fucking said right there? Think about the Bible and the curses in the Bible. If you do this, think about legends. See, when you say, and I told you yesterday, yesterday about fucking congenital birth defects. Now, when you deal with congenital birth defects, uh, this beast or, or that creature raped into my family or my great, 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 great grandfather saw this fucking thing and it was so amazed, right? We've heard things about fucking creatures of fucking what? That come out of the water. We've heard about cyclopses and shit like that. So when we have children that are born in these unusual and disturbing manners, do you think it's fake? When you see stuff like this, where do you think it comes from? 
If you have stories of fucking Cyclops, and you have a child born with one fucking eye in the center of the forehead, does that not confirm the fucking myth and legend of a Cyclops? I can't help that it wasn't born a fucking giant, but Cyclopia deals with one eye. If the child's born with one giant fucking eye, I mean, I mean, that pretty much confirms it, right? I mean, your fucking own eyes fucking see it, right? Oh, but that could be fake, ugh. You know, so, you know, look, this, this looks literally like a fucking merman. Like, come on, P creature of the Black Lagoon? Listen, if that's how the fucking child looks born, right? And you gotta wonder, how, how, uh, how long in history have people seen births like this, right? See, if, if fucking Google knows what I want, dude. It's, it's the computer. I have analyzed what Lexwell has said and beep, buck him. Oh, computer's so sweet. Every time he says, I'm helping him, I shall stall. Come on. You don't have to be that way. Try it again, Google. All right, well, that's fucking working on it. We'll see. So here we have Clef Whip, right? Didn't we hear fucking giants with Clef Whip, right? Now, now, now we have it in society. Right? So... We've heard about, we, we see images drawn by Freemasons where fucking human bodies are contorted together, but we have babies born with contortions. So was there an entity in the fucking past that, that was looked like that, but was worshipped? You do understand when people have some of these uh, issues in societies, they worship the baby. Now think about they used to worship fucking entities, and when babies are born that look like these fucking entities, they worship them. I mean, not here. I mean, our people have such a fucked up ignorance. Okay, so obviously Google's not working now. Um, but my computer's telling me I have uh, my internet is fucking awesome right now, right? So you got all the fucking juice you need to, to, to reach the world, but you can see the pictures haven't loaded. You know, this one finally loaded. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Like, how long, how long is it going to take for the images, right? Images, I say. Now, watch. Shit never does this. So, they're, 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 they're lagging me on purpose. You know. Obviously, I, I wrote part one somewhere, so they, so they knew I was going to do a part two pretty soon. Right, so, uh, I'm going to go back, uh, look, up here, and we look at this image here, right, remember, we're looking at this creature of the Black Lagoon bullshit, right, and this is how it, it, it's, it's imagined, right, but yet you have children fucking born that look like that, now is it art imitating life or, or life imitating art, right, so, so you gotta understand, something happened to these people's DNA, to 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 now you've seen plenty of see they had told you the zika virus bullshit right but then you have history of fucking uh uh people with small heads being chopped off now yeah you have myths of fucking shrinking heads you have legends of shrinking head people but here you have a person born with a small head i think if that was a fucking group of people that existed in the past and then you have images with like shiva and and, and the fuckers got uh, a fucking string of heads that are shrunken on his fucking around his neck. Uh, could he not have been fighting people with really small heads? And, and, and I mean, you got fucking 30, 30 fucking arms and you hold 30 fucking swords. I mean, it wouldn't be that hard to fucking cut up a bunch of people, small people fucking heads off. You know? It would seem, make it seem like great feet. So when you look at what is a uh, Shiva or some shit like that, right? Uh, one should lead to the other, right? Come on, Google, stop playing. Mm, so frustrating. What do I pay these people fucking money for? Give me fucking junk garbage. So we've looked at this stuff. I'm going to start taking this stuff down. Alright. Uh, now, now here we have Shiva, right? 
and look here, Ganesha. And I'm going to flip through a few of these because I, I don't really know the, the one I'm looking for. I don't know their fucking names. Here, let's just look at, uh, see, I should have hit the Hindu button. Vishnu, Brahma, Ganesha, whatever. Yeah, uh, let's look at Rama. Let's see if we can find one of these cats with fucking heads around their neck. Yeah, let's go back. We we hit this one right when we got the heads. Ah, see, Google's such a punk ass. It's just confused. We'll just we'll just open a new one. It'll be slow too. Look, and we'll just do uh, we'll do. Yeah, this is a fucking call for you guys, right? Images. CIA is a joke, they just spy on your own. Congratulations to the FBI for busting 70,000 kids, children. Children saved from pedophile rings are over uh, 2,000 and 70,000 new freak, bastard, evil shits done got records now. Look how long you're taking to fucking type in shit you already suggest. Come the fuck on. You call yourself fucking good? Yeah, we're just going to pause it till it decides to work. Okay, so um, whoever's in control of this shit, they're being stingy right now. Um, this is one of the only images I can see. You have a bunch of fucking, uh, and I'm sorry it's not big. I'm not going to waste time trying to blow this shit up. Then it's just going to cycle for two hours like it is, it is up here. You know, you have fucking uh, heads around their fucking neck, and they're all small heads, right? Now, when you think about that baby that we showed uh, a little bit, you know, it uh, looked like he was, could have been latin or some kind of shit, you know. But all these heads are kind of in the same shape. All right, so you can see this freaky bastard even cuts his own head off, right? And the two bitches are there holding fucking cups to catch the blood so they can pour it on these two that are fucking down here fucking around. Now, this is their weird shit, not mine. You know, I'm just showing you it fucking exists. And with it inside the fucking lotus, right? With the fucking pyramid. See the points? You don't have to really see the pyramid, the triangle. You just need to see the points so your mind knows it's a triangle. Right? You don't need to see, look. See his shit is, is, is in her. This is their fucking worship. Perversion. Death. Right? Look at this shit. I don't even have to explain that, right? What the fuck is the, the, the white dude doing behind the blue fucker and the blue fuck one blue fucker's in the other blue fucker and they all got heads around their fucking neck? You know? So. Alright, so, uh. I think we're done with the Hindu stuff. I don't really want to get into all that shit. I just want to move forward in these last two uh, articles. Now, when we look at these last two articles, uh, the medical reasoning, uh, they're going to go into some things, spiritual explanations, and they start naming the different spots. Uh, they call this cafe, cafe latte spots, right? When you see people that have uh, these patches. Now, when you ca when you consider things like uh, leprosy, now this could be a, g uh, a gene that suffered from leprosy, and then uh, it, it intermingled with something else as well, because here you have the original skin color, right, and then you have the hot burn of the of what little melanation was there burned out. Right now, ask yourself when you know they they, they say so these people have like uh, like vitiligo or shit like that. Um, do they tan when when these moments happen to them? 
you know, what's going on with their, uh, their system internally. These birthmarks get their name uh, from light or brown coffee with milk color. Uh, the shape typically resembles an oval with smooth, irregular edges. Some appear directly after birth or soon afterwards, but uh, many have not are not noticeable until after the age of two. Excuse me, some fucking retards playing some garbage. Shut my window because. Can't hear with sick music. Alright. No. Some appear directly after the after birth or soon afterwards, but are not and then you're not noticeable until after the age of two. This particular birthmark sometimes fades or shrinks with age, but can darken with sun exposure. Okay, so there you have it, darkens with sun exposure. Most people have one or two, but but others have more. So you've seen people that have different uh, types of splotches of skin on them, different shades, uh, and as you say, uh, patches of hyperpigmentation in the epidermis of skin. This is what the medical explanation is. Spiritual value in Old Wives' Tale suggested these birthmarks appear on a baby when the mother drinks too much coffee. Okay, you really think? So that's why they uh, always say old, old wives tells, you know, they put them down, oh, that's just an old wives tell, right? Some cultures believe that this is a result of chocolate craving during pregnancy. Brown birthmarks are considered a positive omen in success and uh, prosperity. Uh, they are true to their nature, but not, do not engage dangerous activity or gossip. Okay, so you can see the the bullshit within that all right so obviously this person is 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 how the bible talks of leprous he was one color but th that color has been stripped away when you look at this you can see actually the fur on him right there at this stage uh it should be red but it's actually white and the bible talks about white hairs coming out all right so and we have the Mongolian spot, and this is what we're here for. So even though we're here for that, we're just going to look at it. You have strawberry marks. These are other birthmarks. And you have something called a Solomon patch or an angel's kiss or a stark spite. Uh, so, you know, I can't help it why they call these things these names. This is the most common uh, type of birthmark characterized by patches of pink or purple or slightly red marks on it. On the skin, Angel's Kiss uh, refers to Solomon patches that appear on the face. The stork's bite is our references to marks that appear on the back or the neck. Okay, so when they call it a stork's bite, right? You know, so, so they say the stork brings the baby, right? So they're joking around like uh, they call it a stork bike bite if it's on the upper back as if you were being pinched there to fly you back to your to your mom or on the back of the neck as if you were been you know how you pick up a dog and a cat by the back of the neck and shit like that angel kisses typically fade in early time but sometimes obviously angel kisses are here on the forehead or something of that nature uh solomon patch i would assume it was uh, be anywhere here we have uh they claim that this is the medical explanation uh i'm not even going to try that these birthmarks are, are caused by expansion of tiny blood vessels or buildup of capillaries beneath the skin all right there's period of spiritual value then this is just a claim the term angel kiss may have originated from religious belief that these types of birthmarks are said to be gifts from uh, from the heavenly powers uh the again another word for god is power uh so they're talking about many gods um the name stork bite comes from the mythological belief that the birthmark is left behind by the stork carrying the baby back right by the, by the neck as she was being delivered the, the the pink birthmarks also are believed to be a symbol of high intelli intellectual abilities with a strong disposition towards respect and success these people have genuine love for shut the fuck up you're getting into that fucking uh horoscope bullshit you have port wine stain right so you know looks like wine spilled on his head all right so i don't care about these uh, the silver mark now this is, is interesting right uh, silver streak of hair often found on the left or right side of the forehead at the hairline. This mark is not 
uh, commonly seen at the time of birth, but is more uh, likely present after the age of seven. This birthmark is believed to be hereditarily hereditary, as it is not uncommon for other family members to have the same or similar streaks. All right, so there is no medical uh, explanation. Some people believe that this is a meaning connection between all people and a silver mark, the a pedigree of sorts that dates back through many centuries. Sometimes this birth mark is converted, me, coveted, and viewed as charming, and other times it is viewed as a witch's streak or a mark of evil. Oh, excuse me. I mean, that, yeah, whatever. Um, moles. That is nasty, dude. That's a growth, man. I tell <sighs> Round spots that vary in size. Uh, maybe flat or raised, black or brown. This type of birthmark does not show up at birth at all. Usually uh, doesn't present itself until the child is a few years old. Caused by clusters of pigment producing skin cells. Many coaches believe the mole in the face is a symbol of good luck. Some believe they are extra good luck if hair grows from them. Okay, look. If you got a fucking mole on your face with hair growing from it, you already know that shit's bad luck. You see how? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. How many in, in this dumbass society? How many super hot girls go for the guy with the mole on his face and a hair growing out of it? Okay. So you, you can't tell me in fucking in, in in the past they saw this and they were like, ooh, <laughs> like come on, he's, he's bullshitting me. So I don't feel like being bullshit anymore. This is bluish strawberry mark. Uh, then you have more birthmark beliefs, locations, shapes, and treatment removal or, or, or acceptance. Okay, so a lot of those things are harsh to, to live with. So <clears throat> we should stop this idea that, oh, it's you're being blessed. It doesn't seem like you're being blessed. The Lord said he made us perfect. If things like that uh, show themselves, it's, it's because of curses that have been placed on us, so that we have a symbol to know that we, we that, that, that that a judgment is being placed on us. You know, there are judgments before Judgment Day. If we believe in karma, if we believe live by the sword, die by the sword, then when a gangster kills one gangster and then dies years later, that's still karmetic. It doesn't mean that he has to die at the, the moment that he hit pulls the trigger. Other things go on in this person's life. He could be successful. He could he could start failing at everything until his death. We necessarily don't know how these curses work. Now, we're dealing with the Mongolian spot. Large flat areas of bluish and gray marks that usually are found on darker skinned people. Now look. If the fucking Mongols are Asian and they and they even have dark skin to some degree. If the Mongols uh, are, are, are actually the, Mong the the Sundra Mongolians and they have dark skin, why would this shit show up on dark skinned people? You know, it, it, it'd be like, you, you know, it seems like an oxymoron. You know, it, it would almost seem like you would need blonde haired people to do this to dark skinned people, right? For it to show up on dark skinned people. Sometimes they are mistaken for a bruise, usually appear on the buttocks or lower back. See, this is in a very concentrated area. The marks fade over time and, uh, and, and often disappear by the child's sixth birthday. Congenital dermal uh, melan, melanocystos or lesions with access areas of pigment and that's what is to the medical explanation this occurs when melaconites mino excuse me mino fitets whatever uh don't complete the migration to the epidermis during embryonic development now listen it says korean mythology explains the birthmark as a mark from the shaman spirit of <laughs> childbirth who slapped the behind of the baby to encourage the exit from the mother's womb when appearing in the shape of a hand on the buttocks it is believed a trademark provides 
a link to the lineage of Genghis Khan. Now you see that, right? They just threw that shit in there. When appearing in the shape of a hand on the buttocks. Now, wouldn't you think the shape of a hand would have to do with the shaman spirit who slaps, right? You slap somebody, you leave a, ma a mark on them. You ever see somebody slapped in the fucking face and they left a fucking handprint? Think about that. You know, smacked a girl on the ass and left a handprint. Right. Now this says the spirit slaps you on the butt and it don't leave a handprint. It just leaves a mark. But if there's an actual handprint type shape, it's it's fucking lineage to, to gang it's not. So let's let's get the rid of the spiritual bullshit and understand what's going on. You're fucking, it is, it provides the link to the lineage of Genghis Khan. These are the people that he fucks through. Other cultures believe these marks are a sign of spiritual beating within the womb. See, somebody kicked your ass in the womb, right? It was a result of spirit trying to eject the baby from the mother's womb, all right? So, that, that's just fucking ridiculous. That, that, that's, right? Of spirits trying to to eject the baby from get the fuck out of here. All right, so now we seem to understand that when they throw Genghis Khan in there, they you know, make it sound kind of obscure. Um, it's them showing you these uh, historic stories and their prevalence inside your body. Okay. Now, when we go further into this, uh, this is going to lead to Cherokee DNA. I'm, uh, now, I'm going to do this uh, video separate. I'm going to go into the first uh, little bit of it. First, the reader should understand if any commercial DNA lab returns test results that state a percentage of DNA for a particular Southeast Native American tribe. Now, if you do a DNA test and it states any percentage of DNA for a, part of, for a particular Southeast Native American tribe, the report should be considered fraudulent. The American Society of Human Genetics has not certified any DNA test markers to be associated with a particular Southeastern American Indian tribe. Now, wouldn't that mean like the Seminole Indians and the Yamasee Indians, right? Now, even though they weren't any particular bloodline, see, the Gile was the bloodline. And those people were poisoned, and there was very few of them left, and they went and spread the news to the other Indian groups. And as those Indian groups were starting to get poisoned, all the people that survived the poisonings of smallpox and, and the Black Plague that the Europeans brought as tools of war, instruments of war, when they survived those, they amassed into the Yamasee. Different bloodlines coming together to fight their new enemy. When those Indian groups were defeated, and then they went into, got uh, 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 a wider range of Indians, excuse me, aboriginals, as far up to the Great Lakes. When all those people come down, and it's the time of Andrew Jackson, and they start fighting from Florida, Using the guerrilla tactics of their ancestors, these are called the Seminole Indians. And it's just, at this point, you have the Mongols amalgamated with some of them and, and fighting side by side with them. But when the Seminoles are defeated, it's the amalgamated Mongol Indians that sign the treaties. Got to pay attention to what's going on. And the Aboriginal, he then becomes the slave. Now, the technique for creating, why did it do that? That is not what I did. Look how long this article is. Oh boy. 
Why did it just shoot down like that? Here we go. The technique for creating indigenous DNA markers to sample a statistically reliable number of ethnically pure members of a tribe than average their DNA profiles. So since the people, listen closely, since the people who met the first European explorers on the shores of the Atlantic, the Gulf, and, specific, and Pacific. Now listen, he just named every fucking ocean, that, the Gulf of Mexico, right? Atlantic, that's the East Coast. Pacific, that's the West Coast, right? This author just named every coast. Since the people who first met European explorers on the shores of the Atlantic, the Gulf Pacific, are generally not the same people calling themselves Native Americans today. Do you understand what the author just said? He just said from, from the writings of the explorers, the people we call natives today are not who the explorers met. Normally today we would call that fraud, wouldn't we? We'd call that a lie. When you have commerce on top of that, you are getting commerce because of a lie that, you, that is being perpetuated. That falls back to fraud, right? Right. See, this is the point that the amalgamated Indian was trying to make when he sat there and said, if you call yourself white, you're committing paper genocide. The next step is physical genocide. And this is what I try to express to people. But they're drunk with their American paperwork bullshit. Virtually no citizen of a federally recognized southeastern tribe could maintain their membership if it were based solely on DNA profiles of pre-Spanish conquest individuals. You want to know what that just said? If you based Indian, federally recognized Indian status on DNA test from pre-Spanish individuals. None of these motherfuckers that get checks now would be getting checks now. That means they're all $5 Indians. They're all Europeans intermingled with Mongols calling themselves Native Americans. When the explorers come here to the Americas, does does the Pacific Ocean continue through Central America and does it continue along the coast anywhere in South America? Does the Atlantic Ocean continue in, in South America or is it only up here in North America? This author is telling you all the so-called Indians that met Columbus, all the Aboriginal people that met Columbus look nothing like the people that make, that are, that are federally recognized as the same people that met Columbus. A great fraud is going on. The people that met Columbus were distributed around the world. The ones that stayed here in this society, they were put into slavery. The Bible tells you, for your rejection of the Creator, you will be spread to the four corners of the earth and you will be put in bond and oppressed. Do you see it clearly now? There are DNA test markers for some other Indigenous peoples in the Americas, such as the Natal, the, T the Totonic, the Mayan, the Purpech, Purpeshi, the Tipi Gorari, the, the Quiche the peoples. We already learned from Dr. Bullshit, Ali Muhammad, that fucking liar. Uh, we learned one thing of truth. The Mayan people never called themselves the Mayan people. They called themselves the Quiche. So this author is actually listing two people groups. I mean, uh, one people group twice. 
uh, but, but, but we'll go further. Some labs will provide an overall percentage of Asianic DNA, then ascribe a certain percentage of unknown DNA markers. So these are the different labs that are actually doing this. Okay. Creek and Seminole descendants carry some identifiable, usually carry some identifiable markers from Mexico and Central America and South America. Now, when you say, I'm a Seminole Indian, but Seminole Indians usually carry a DNA marker from South America, but these people that call themselves Native Americans, Native Americans, they're fucking... They only recognize Alaska and fucking Siberia as their home. They don't like the fucking hot areas. And that's another way that you can tell that the people calling themselves native today are not. They're stealing your identity. They're in a bond with the United States government to say that they are federally recognized Indians and you are nothing but African slaves bought from Africa. They brought all you niggas from Africa. Africa be empty. If they brought all you niggas from Africa, you, you'd have some kind of connection to that fucking language that they put inside you. You listen to the slang you niggas say, speak, it's the same fucking Babylonian shit that you've been dealing with all your fucking life. Your, uh, excuse me. All your ancestors' uh, uh, continuous history. You, you know, Africans don't talk like you. They don't fucking look like you. Their fucking hair is uh, uh, just a different style. Uh, it might be the same texture. It just grows completely differently. You don't see Africans with Afros. Uh, you know, started pretty good. Tests usually show ancestry are probably reliable because these they always they show that they're from the Americas. They don't show that they come. They have no blood to fucking come from the other side of the world. And they, they don't show anything that, sh that says your blood shared with the people on the, on the other side of the world, except for from Africa and those places where, remember, the Europeans earmarked you and took you over there and sold you there. Now, isn't that funny? When they tell you they brought you from Africa here, there ain't no writings but European writings. When you talk to Africans today, they don't say they sold you to fucking Europeans. They don't say anything like that. In fact, I think they understand that we don't have any shared common history. Several commercial DNA labs for years have been trying to identify a pattern of DNA markers that would prove Cherokee ancestry. So if you can't prove Cherokee ancestry, why you got these people that say they're Cherokee? The, the reason is perhaps over a million Americans claim Cherokee ancestry and they get those fucking checks every fucking month. There is big money to be had in people who think that they are, that their great grandmother was a Cherokee princess. A great deal of money to be gained from that shit. DNA Spectrum and 23andMe Labs specifically advertise for Cherokee DNA. Now look at these white greedy fuckers. This is no different than that fake Indian. I should show you his fucking comment. The fake, the fake Native American fucking kind of, uh, saying, please contact me. And then when I get on the phone with him, he's like, hey man, I was able to change. Uh, I was able to self-identify as an American Indian. You know, and I was about just just listening to his voice. I was like, what, what nationality are you? He's like, I'm a native. You're the, the type of person I bitch and complain about for stealing my people's identity. And you fucking sit here and personally write me and say, look at, look at, look, look at this shit. I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab this real quick because I don't want people to think I'm just fucking around, man. I mean, seriously, man. Like. Let me find this shit. Hmm. Look, I see some people are leaving their numbers up. Um. Look, uh, I don't go over here too much. Uh, 
But if I get a chance to, I'll make some of these calls. These are never dated. Two months ago. This is the word. Drop so much shit, man. She drops so much. She has so much uh, info, man. She. I hope she started writing books. Four months. I don't think it's this far back. Man, I be looking through this all the time. I be seeing all these numbers. Now I see all kinds of people's phone numbers and stuff. Well, I don't see this, this dude's number, man, or his uh, comment. Uh, hmm. Now, when I turn this off, I got to write all these numbers in. Yeah, I really don't see it now. Uh, I, I know I didn't erase it. I took the number down and I just never came back to look at it anymore. But for all those people that left numbers up here, uh, I, I'll, I'll try my best to give you a call. No, it's it's not that far back. I don't I don't know why that why it didn't come up. That bothers me. The no filter ones, huh? Alright, well I'll go back to comments. And then we'll go back to that other one. Alright, so these these Companies been advertising for Cherokee DNA, and when a person searching the web double clicks Cher Cherokee DNA test, they are usually transferred to a promotional web page that does not mention Cherokee. All right, so because there's so much money that's in there, because they understand that the land belonged to the Cherokees, they were the lead tribe. All right, so uh, as the DNA test come become more sophisticated in the first decade of the 21st century some people who thought they were Cherokee de uh, descent began getting results that told them they were Jewish Semitic Middle Eastern DNA but made no mention of Native American DNA the test subjects originally thought that they had been defrauded they knew they had Cherokee ancestry ancestors on tribal roles so now if you so now they talk about black people right no, they said, no, saying if they sat there and did the, the roll call, right? Those tribal rolls, right? And this is this is how some of these five dollar Indians signed up because when black people, uh, the, 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 the real Indians were afraid. Now, okay, you had laws that were going around at the time, and these laws stated that if you talked about you being an Indian, that you could be arrested, you could be shot. So when they said started doing the Dawes rolls and shit. Not everybody was comfortable with the idea of signing up on paper because these the Indians had already saw what the white man does with paper and how he uses these papers. He comes and opens up a law or decree. The army sergeant reads it off, hits a bugle, and then they start shooting at the Indians, right? So black people already knew not to start, excuse me, the, the aboriginal Indians, whom we call black people today, to a great extent already knew not to sign up with, with any of these people. So. If you don't find your family on the dolls rolls or on this type of rolls or that, it's not no big deal. It's just it's it's it's, it's your family was not secure with the idea of signing up with these people because of all the war, torture, murder that they had already been dealing with. Again, if an intruder walks into your house today, you fucking shoot them. If you have uh, property. And, 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 and people know it's your property and they walk on it and they're armed, your response is not fucking, you know, go say hi. Your response is to get them off of your property because they're armed. 
That means you have to arm yourself. If you have a territory and armed warriors come into your territory calling themselves exploring, I'm exploring what belongs to you, who is going to say that's okay? Who in their right fucking mind is going to say, oh, it's okay, you, you can explore the shit that belongs to me, and if you find gold, you can keep it. If you find silver, you can keep it. If you find my women, you can keep them. Who the fuck is going to say that's okay? So think about this shit. A thief knows when he's fucking stealing. A thief knows when he's calling himself a masking as a warrior and fucking stealing. Okay? Columbus Day is fucking theft. It's murder, it's rape, it's spread disease, it's theft. And these fucking people know it. And again, they are soulless. A great percentage of these things are fucking soulless. If you have a, a soul and you start mixing with things that don't have souls, then you tend to lose your fucking soul and lose your fucking mind. Now you see the white man poisoning the fucking skies. Is that not a soulless thing to do? Now you have companies uh, like, like the company that has atrazine that have been sued for fucking dumping their shit in the rivers. Now you know and I know when you do a chemical dump, it's called to poison fucking people. Right? They'll just take them to court. They won't break their company up because of their fucking, what, environmental fucking destruction of humans and fish and amphibian life? They, they, they won't break a company up for that. They'll just find them. Besides the leprous people, they have a large percentage of beings that are classified as white that are fucking soulless. Opening these factories next to next to poor neighborhoods so that the fucking the soot from the factories poisons the fucking people. What if I told you there's a, a company in North Carolina that that raises pigs and to get rid of all of the fucking uh the the, the 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 feces and shit they spray it into the fucking neighborhoods of North Carolina. So you're sitting there saying I have Muslim belief or I have biblical beliefs where I don't want to fucking touch pig, nothing like this. And they're spraying it into your neighborhoods as a mist. Let me see if I can find that real quick. I don't want people to think I'm just making shit up. And I think we're going to try, if we find this one, we're going to go ahead and end it on this, man. Let me see. Let's see. Watch the small version. One of America's biggest secrets is that farms practically don't exist anymore. The animals we eat are grown inside giant hidden factories. Since 2012, I've been secretly planning a project to expose these factory farms using the highest tech spy equipment available drones. This video provides just a sample of what I saw during only a few days of filming. You're looking at a lake of toxic pig feces and urine the size of four football fields. That's Think about that. That's fucking, that's the most grotesque shit. If you, if you fucking got dumped in that shit and you were still alive, you 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 wouldn't even make it to a fucking shower. <laughs> thousands upon thousands of pigs are inside of these buildings. Their waste falls through slats in the concrete floor, and it's flushed directly into this giant open air cesspool. How many of these kinds of factories are there? In North Carolina alone, there are over two thousand and the consequences are disastrous. The waste falls through, through the floors. It's flushed out into an open pit, like a cesspool. It's easy for a big 
hog operation to have as much waste as a medium-sized city. Of course, the pit will fill up, so it has to be uh, emptied, and they're emptied by spraying the liquid waste. Yes, you heard that right. If you're familiar with a garden sprayer, there are gigantic versions of that, so they're making droplets, fine mists, out of this liquid waste, and that can drift downwind into the neighboring countries. Now, if you live in fucking, now, I typed in North Carolina, and, and they fucking type, they have on there, North Carolina, right? North Carolina hog farms stinking up the neighborhood. CBS reported this a year ago, and only 2,000 people, people see this, right? Like, like, think about this. You live, in, you live in these fucking states that do this shit, and they're spraying pig waste in your fucking areas, right? You're like, I don't want any pig in my food, and you're acting like an asshole. People, people think you're an asshole because you're like, oh, no, don't eat pork, don't, you don't, eat, you don't eat seafood. Don't tell me what to fucking eat. Paul said I can eat whatever the fuck I want. Well, what did the most I say? His, ter- his word changes not. If we have Levitical food laws and you eat pork, you're a fucking idiot. You're purposely not reading because you don't want to change. If you don't want to change, how, how, how is the Lord going to accept you? And look at these nasty corporations in league with the fucking devil, in league with the government. The government lets them keep those hogs in those fucking dens. They, 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 how will you disperse of the pig shit? When we're spread in the neighborhoods. Oh, that's beautiful. Would you like some some subsidiaries? Would you, would you, some, some subsidies? <laughs> Fucking, this is what they're doing to you. Pig shit, pig piss, pig vomit. One pig bites, another starts bleeding. All that goes in the fucking a uh, vat. Four football fields. This is just one company. How many other companies do you think? Do you think they only get pig from one fucking area? Hmm? Think about that shit. If they spray it in North Carolina, they fucking spray it in any other fucking place. They have farms that are like this. And then this foul odor comes in the fucking air and you're like, what the fuck is that? But you don't fucking know because you won't fucking chase through the fucking courts. You won't chase these people. I shut my hog operation down and I got out of it. And uh, I, I couldn't. I just couldn't do another person that way to make them smell This bad. is what it's about. It is not about the pigs. It is not about making money off of fucking selling pigs to people. It's about doing this to a community. Listen, this man, you would think, is just a dumb hillbilly. And the first thing he comes out of his mouth is the fucking regret of what happens to people that live in the community. Nothing to do with this company, nothing to do with the corporate fucking bullshit that's that's happening to them. You think if pig waste blows onto you in the wind, that's a fucking good thing? It is a cesspool that you put feces and urine in, a hole in the ground that you dump a toxic waste in and I've seen dead hogs in them and stuff like that. People can't open their windows, they can't go outside. I've seen it. I've talked to the people. I've seen the little children that say, Mom and Daddy, why we got to smell this stuff? You get stories like, I can't hang my clothes out. Feces and your odor comes by and attaches itself to your clothes. And then people will say, we're scared to invite neighbors. It can, I think, very correctly be called environmental racism or environmental injustice that correctly be called environmental racism correctly be called environmental racism you think they're doing this to fucking white communities they're doing this to the children of adam look remember that that fucking thing came up that, that it's the children of adam that that were that the, the, the body was found that they can find the dna marker and other people now that that was found in north carolina so if they found it in his blood um, unmingled, then you're going to have other people in North Carolina with his blood unmingled. The children of God being sprayed with fucking with pig waste. Right? How can you be righteous if you take a shower and you walk outside and they're spraying pig waste 
in your fucking community. The minute you walk to your car, the minute you walk out of your car, I don't care if you keep the fucking car open, fuck, I mean, sealed up, and, and, and you know, the minute you walk from one building to your car, you, 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 the minute you walk from your car to a building, the minute you go play basketball, the minute you go fishing, Think about that, people in North Carolina. Think about what they're doing to you, spiritually. This action is spiritual. Oh yeah, it's fucking foul on, on, the, on the just basic human level. This is spiritual warfare. Or environmental injustice that uh, people of color, low-income people, bear the brunt of these practices. This is where they spray animal waste on us. This is about eight feet from my mother's house. What is it like when the mist is? It's like, you think it's raining? Now you see, it's a normal fucking day, right? Now look at his fucking camera. Do you see all those little speckles that are, don't cameramen keep their fucking cameras clean as fuck? Now he just started filming after he most likely cleaned his lens. Now he bought a bunch of little speckles on his fucking camera. It's already in the fucking air. Already in the air. You can't tell that's Israelite. She got the freckles. She got the gold, the gold copper skin, the afro. You can't tell what you looking like on looking at it on camera. This is what they do to the Israelites. They spray pig waste in your community. They put pig waste in the air and spray it in your community. They block the sun so the white people don't burn. They block the sun so the demons that are in fucking suits can walk the streets. And they spray pig waste in your community. And you got a vegetable garden. And your vegetables are sucking up that moisture with pig waste in it. my mother's house. What is it like when the mist is? It's like, you think it's raining? Really? You, th you think it's raining? We don't open the doors or, or the windows, but the odor still comes in. It takes your breath away. Then you start gagging, you get headaches. There are a number of studies of asthma and asthma symptoms, particular in children near these facilities. Among adults, there are reports of several types of upper respiratory symptoms. These pollutants are affecting people's blood pressure. Who's responsible for all this? Smithfield Foods, specifically the subdivision Murphy Brown, which controls the factory farms shown in all of the drone footage in this video. Smithfield is by far the largest pork producer in the entire world. And inside these buildings, there is something else entirely. Pigs are really intelligent animals. They are more intelligent than dogs. They are more intelligent than cats. In the average pig barn, there could be hundreds, if not thousands of pigs <coughs> crammed into this one sprawling indoor space. Their entire life is spent standing on concrete floors. Mother pigs are locked in metal cages so small that they literally cannot even turn around for months at a time. This is not a partisan issue. We are all opposed to children now, being made. Again, who works in these facilities? Who sits there and sees what's being happening happening to these animals and fucking agree to it? Who fucking knows that they're going to be spraying neighborhoods and fucking sets up the gear and fucking sprays it into the fucking wind? On purpose. They know they, if, if you just shoot it up in the air and there's no wind, it's just going to come right back down in the area that you're shooting it. They have to spray it into the fucking wind if they want to deplete the fucking puddle of feces that they fucking made. You think black people agree to do this to themselves? Or do you think that they're afraid that if they start speaking out about this shit there in North Carolina, they'll, they'll get strung up faster than fucking, uh, than fucking lightning can strike? Maybe they're afraid because they know that some of these guys string people up and nobody knows that they do it. And nobody finds the bodies afterwards. They clean up after themselves. Think about some of these cities. They leave the body to be seen so it strikes fear in the community. 
if you don't know a ritual is taking place and they got to kill somebody for a ritual, what, 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 what makes us think that every time they do this, that, that the public has to see the body? What makes us think that just because they hang somebody, they're they going to always leave the body for, to be found by the public? They're, it, the, the principal of that one community already said, we can have as many conversations as we fucking want, but it's not going to solve anything. The fucking people that are doing this to you want you to be in fear. They want your black ass in fear. The state of fear. The state of paranoia. This hardens the inside of your body. When you're in fear, you're always on edge. Your abdomen is always locked up. You're putting all the pressure on your fucking organs constantly. Your kidneys, your liver, all being squeezed. You keep fucking keeping your, your washboard abs because you're in fear. And that pressure that you put on yourself, it destroys you. And you start dying of heart disease and lung failure and shit. And you think it's because of all these things that you put in your body. Your liver is a filter. If you were having that, that, that great a strain on your fucking body, no matter what you were putting in it, 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 would, it would attack your liver first. You've let these people lie to you about uh, the medical system. Just like a coffee filter, you, your, your, your liver is your body's filter. Why do you think it's right below the stomach? And the stomach sends everything out everywhere. Made sick to animals being abused and to everyday people's lives being ruined by the stench of cesspools in their backyards. These thousands of lakes of toxic waste must be among the most bizarre and disturbing environmental phenomena that have ever confronted America. And they've been kept well hidden from the public for long enough. advertisement on there all right so um let's say there's fucking pig farms in texas let's just guess can we fucking see anything to change city will they show texas or just north no just north carolina uh yeah just north carolina seems to be the place that this is going on mainly but I wouldn't doubt it's happening in other places uh, just because we're looking at, um, this is Ohio, seven years ago. It doesn't let anything to go to waste, not even the manure, right? All right, so again, they have pig farms everywhere. So don't think it's just North Carolina. Again, we're on YouTube. That's just where main footage of this is, is being shown about North Carolina farms. So, you know, does uh, this guy take his spy drone to other pig farms in other states to, to report on this stuff? That's a real big issue, you know? So, with that being said, wrong button. I'd like to get into this again. there's a lot of information in here that is shocking and revealing because they're going to tell you who the Cherokees are and they're going to tell you where the Cherokees live they're going to tell you what the Cherokee look like if you'd like to know more about the article before I do another video Cherokee DNA access genealogy that's all you have to do is type in Cherokee DNA access genealogy and Google will show you the fucking actual article and then we're going to get into this uh, image of the world, you know, and the questions of why it looks like this. Uh, so 